Ho 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 guys, it's Salmonella, and you're watching Cluck That! The drag queen cooking show that's put me on the naughty list. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that the whole world can get a great big heaping of Salmonella. Today is all about holiday sweets. What are you gonna bring to that Christmas party we're not even gonna have this year? I saw on TikTok this incredible hack with Brunch with Babs, and basically she took these little peppermint candies and then baked them into this incredible serving platter that's edible. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys to start. And then we are covering bark. Woof, woof, woof. We're doing Christmas bark. We're doing Christmas bark three ways. I'm a little junky for sweets myself, so I am very excited to dig into these and show you guys how versatile bark can be. I'm going to put these at the bottom of my tin, there's a little bit of wax paper at the bottom, and then you're just gonna go around. This could take hours. It is going in the oven at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes until it's melty, and then you just gotta wait for it to cool down. I'm scared it's gonna burn. Or not melt at all. That's my biggest concern. While that is in the oven, we are gonna get ready on our first Christmas bark. We are doing Christmas crack. It's so easy. You make your own caramel, you use saltines and chocolate, and it is a party classic. So come meet me over at the stovetop and let's get started. Our little peppermint serving dish is ready to come out of the oven. They have just all melted together and become like a beautiful little serving tray and it's gonna be perfect to serve a little bark on. And now to start our beautiful little caramel, I've lined a baking sheet with saltines already. You can use any cracker you want, you can use graham crackers, but saltines have that little bit of salt. That's why they're called saltines, you <laughs> idiot. To a saucepan, I'm gonna add two sticks of unsalted butter, a cup and a half of light brown sugar. Let me in. <laughs> Tight fit. A fourth teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now you're gonna bring this to a boil on medium, medium high heat and let it combine for three minutes. So you wanna make sure to keep stirring throughout this process. It's starting to bubble around the edges and that's when you know it's ready. This is the texture we're looking for. Beautiful ribbons of caramel. Ooh, who is she? Bring over my little saltines. And this is gonna happen fast and it's gonna happen furious. I'm gonna pour this mixture over our saltines. Make sure to get an even coat if you can. Oh, wow. Oh, baby. Bring it to the edges. Bring it to the edges, edges, eh, eh, eh. This is going in a 375 degree oven for 15 minutes or until bubbling. Get in there. Mm. Now to get started on our other two barks. So I have every chocolate under the sun. I have dark chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, and white chocolate. And we have to get all this chocolate melted so we can pour it out onto a sheet pan for our Christmas bark. Ideally, you would do this over a double boiler, which consists of putting a bowl over a saucepan with boiling water and slowly melting it. But I have a fitting, so we're gonna use the microwave. To our bowls of chocolate, I have about six ounces of each in each bowl. We are going to add one tablespoon of canola oil. This is going in the microwave, 20 second intervals and whisk each time. We're cooking and we're cooking with technology. We are cooking. The 50s invented microwaves and now we can cook without our hands. Button. The 50s, right? <laughs> is that when microwaves came out? <laughs> Give it a stir and it starts to break up and melt away. 20 minutes, oh, 20, 20 minutes, you'll start a fire. <laughs> 20 more seconds. Trust me, this method works. Don't try to microwave it for like a minute, you'll burn your chocolate. 20 seconds. That's three, let's count down. Every 20 second interval, take a shot at home. Oh, we're done. That was three 20 second intervals. How easy was that? I sound like I'm a garden. Woo! 
our crack is ready to come out of the oven immediately while it's still hot. Spread your chocolate chips all over the top and these are just gonna melt pretty much immediately. Just by sitting on the warm caramel, oh my god, the chocolate is perfectly spreadable. I am using a offset spatula to do this. It is angled, so it is so much easier to get to all these nooks and crannies. Your last step is to take a little bit of Maldon sea salt. It is a thick, flaky finishing salt, and you're just gonna give this the lightest little sprinkle on top. This is gonna cool for two to three hours. I know, it's too hot, don't taste it, you'll burn your taste buds right off! I gotta give our dark chocolate a stir. Hi, honey. Ow! Fuck you! <laughs> Last but not least, my least favorite, white chocolate. It tastes like <laughs> you guys. But that's what the recipe calls for. <laughs> Our chocolate is ready to go. We have some toppings. I have pistachios, honey almonds, and some cranberries. And then for our peppermint bark, I have some of these starlight peppermints. But they're full size and I need to break them. Oh yeah. Oh wow. This works so much better than a cast iron skillet. I have a little sheet pan that I wrap with some tin foil that has been sitting in the freezer so it's nice and cold. And that way our chocolate just starts to set the second it hits the pan. The way the peppermint bark is gonna work, it's going to be milk chocolate, white chocolate, and then sprinkled with the peppermint that we just crushed. So I'm gonna spread our milk chocolate on to start. Oh my god. Our dark chocolate will go on the other side. On our dark chocolate one, we are going to top it with some pistachios, some honey roasted almonds, and cranberries. And just go wild. Go crazy. Be Picasso. Be whatever you want to be. A little honey roasted almond. And some dried cranberries. You could use dried fruit. You could use walnuts. That's what bark is great for, is you could just throw anything you want in it and call it a bark and be like, here, Merry Christmas. I kind of want to drizzle it with white chocolate. So let me just take this and just woo. <gasps> oh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Oh, sorry about it. I'm very, very, very intelligent. The other way. <gasps> oh my God, we're getting crazy. We went the other way. <gasps> Oh! The rest of this white chocolate is going top of our milk chocolate. And with our offset spatula, I'm going to carefully spread this to the edge. Christmas time is here! I am very queer! La la la! La 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 la! La 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 la! la. So I just took the peppermint shards and I just artistically put it on top of our peppermint bark. While our barks are cooling in the freezer, I thought I could pop open our little serving tray. I'm gonna pop this open, it should just- Oh my god! It's that simple! <laughs> it's that simple. It shattered. We're back. We threw it back into the oven. It remelted, and you have a cute little serving tray for all of your goodies. I'm using tin foil is great because it's easy to get it out of the pan, and there's no cleanup. Now that all of our barks are caught up and ready to go, all we have to do is plate them and eat them! <gasps> happy holidays! Happy holidays! out so beautiful even after the mishap with our tray I'm gonna start our little taste test with the original the classic peppermint bark you can't go wrong <laughs> it's delicious you don't really taste the white chocolate which is amazing for me crunch of the peppermint and the chocolate just melts in your mouth you can't go wrong with the classic the dark chocolate with all of our nuts and our dried fruit 
Look at this beautiful slice I got. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I love the holidays. I love them. The dark chocolate pairs perfectly with the cranberries and like the crunchy saltiness from the nut comes through. Honey, I got a little crunchy salty nut for ya. <laughs> Let's go in for our Christmas crack. <laughs> it's this crunchy, crunchy cracker covered in caramel. And then you have the chocolate and the flaky sea salt on top. I have outdone myself for you guys. This is my Christmas gift to you. I've made you this beautiful arrangement of Christmas bark. This has been another cluck that with Salmonella. Happy holidays. Bug out. <laughs>